what's going on you degenerate vapors this is the vaping fish and let me drop the switch on this bitch Cloudage, bitch. This is my IPB4S with my eyes of G. Yeah, and this is a point two coil on it. Um, and I decided to tank today. I didn't want to drip. I wanted to tank today, and I wanted to go regulate it. Um, so. That's what I'm vaping on right now, and you see a lot of, you know, it's not just the vapor. I'm also burning some incense. Yeah, I like incense a lot. You can see that. Mm -hmm. I love the way it smells. I, a incense addict, and I'm vaping. You know, I'm vaping. I'm burning some neck champers. Champer, I like this shit. No, I don't smoke weed. I used to smoke it when I was back in high school, for very little. I didn't like it that much. Um. Uh, and you know, I just since then I haven't touched it. Um, now, um, this review is going to be on the box this box right here. This is a mechanical box, and this one is made by Omega Company. And this one is the Skull one, they have two designs. The skull and the black flag. It's an American flag, but it's like black and stuff. Um, and I put the sticker. Savon, bitch. Savon. Um, you can see there, 510. This is a very small box. Um, number 783 is the serial number on it. And it has very nice magnets on the door. I like the magnets. They're strong. Uh, it didn't have a ribbon, so I had to glue one in because I hate putting my fucking nails to take out the batteries and ruining the fucking uh wrap of my battery so i put a fucking ribbon i glued it on there so i can take out my batteries faster it has a nice sled with some stickers in there for the battery orientation and it's pretty clean it's a pretty clean box i mean the wiring is clean um it's a nice box i, I like the box it it's okay i mean it's good um price range on this box uh, forty nine ninety nine to fifty nine ninety nine. That's why I found them for um, on eBay and on you know some some stores. They were selling them. Uh, they come in parallel or in series. If you don't know what that is, then you should be messing with Mac Mods. Um, this one is a series box. Um, I my the range that I vape it on is uh, built from four point three five to point four five. That's more or less the range that I like to bake this shit in. Uh, I tried single coil, double coil. I haven't tried captains on this one. I think captains will work good because of the ramp up it has. Uh, so you have series, you know, we have double the voltage, same amperage. Uh, so you have to keep it safe when using this uh, boxes. One thing I did not like about the box is there's no vents, no, no, no vents anywhere. Um, I, I feel comfortable with vents, you know, I like vents, I like the old perforation somewhere in the box so if the shit vents i can see that smoke coming out and just can throw this shit away and start running you know like a crazy motherfucker away from it but this this one has no vents so you know that's the only thing i did not like that much um other than that a lot of people don't like the button um this little bb type of button i like it it's clicky and you pulse it i don't have a problem with that uh but you know, it's a very nice little small box. It's, it's, it's small um, compared to this, you know, compared to this. It's a big, big box. This is a small box. So uh, it's a nice box. I like it. Um, you know, it's a series box. It's a different type of baby. You're used to parallel boxes. You know, you know those do hit it, and it's a softer type of uh, hit. Um, you go with series, it's a fast fucking hit, and you pulse the shit. You don't like press it, press it, you fucking pulse it. Uh, because it just goes boom, boom, and you know, it just creates you know a lot of fucking vapors and heat on this shit. So, um, it's a different type of vaping. You never tried series before, well, yeah, it's different and not the same. Don't expect the same shit as a parallel, it, it, it is different. Um, 
another thing um, that I liked about it was that besides the magnets and the clean uh, wiring and 9510 and everything, um, the uh, actual design doesn't have a lot, you know, of shit. It's, it's just the picture and the serial number and the brand. You know, it, do, it doesn't have a lot of, you know, things on it. It's just nice looking black Mac box. I like that. I've been liking Mac boxes uh, and Mac mods now more than before. Before I used to, you know, I haven't been vaping for a long time. And I like uh, regular mods a lot. But I started experimenting with Mac mods and I like Mac, Mac, Mac mods better. Uh, I like both, but Mac mods... I don't know. I like the way they hit better. Um, I like the raw power of the batteries. Uh, so you know, I'm starting to like Mac mods a little bit more. Um, the thing with Mac mods, there, you know, you have to be more careful when you build, and you have to be more careful. Don't, don't. I mean, there's some you can use tanks on if you have, you know, a nice protruding type of deal on the, on the tanks. But you know, if you're using Mac mods, you know, try to go with you know RDAs and you know good sticking out. Uh, on the context on those, uh, you know, posts, um, you don't want shit to short out. So, um, but yeah, I, I like uh, Mac mods. I, I started buying a lot of sh crappy shit um, because I'm, you know, I was starting to invest a lot of money into a $200, $300 box. Uh, and, and I've been working myself up uh, from the crappier stuff. Um, and let me tell you, you do need the crappy stuff to experiment. And once you start getting better boxes, you start appreciating the performance of the better boxes. If you start with good boxes, that's good for you because, you know, you already started with the good shit. But the thing is, you, you will not appreciate the good shit as much if you did not start with crappy shit. Um, so, you know, I've been working myself up. I already stopped buying um, a lot of the cheaper stuff, uh, you know. I'm trying to save money and go for, you know, the better brand, uh, better performing boxes and mods if I can. Um, the reason I'm changing from quantity to quality, um, because I want to have quality, even if I only have two or three, I'll have two or three good quality mods then have 20 okay ones. So that's just my way of thinking and how it's, I've been changing the way I, 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 I view things now um, by experimenting, experimenting with different shit. Um, so, yeah, this is a nice starter uh, series box. I never tried a series box. They have them on series in parallel, but, you know, I, I, I wanted to experiment with series. Never had a series box, and this one's a, a very inexpensive, uh, good-performing box. So, um, again, I didn't like it. It doesn't have any vent holes. So that's, that's a big thing for me. I do like my mouth to have vent holes. Um, so, uh, this is the thing. Don't get fooled by the price. You know, some, some people, you know, oh, if it's not a hundred bucks, shit, it's shit. No, it's not shit, you know, and, and, you know, not all good, uh, boxes or good makes or good, you know, good, uh, regulated boxes are worth, you know, three, four hundred dollars. You know, there's some good working mods out there. They're under 50 bucks. You know, it, it just, you just need to look for them. Um, again, this is a good performing box for the price. Um, and let me tell you that I came across one that, you know, I was going to take apart. Uh, I bought a cheap, inexpensive box mod from eBay uh, from a guy that built some at his house. Um, you know, I checked it when I got it and everything was really okay with my meter. And I was going to take it apart and actually redo the box. Um, but, you know, I... I I bought it because it was ready to go. I mean, it was already built and it had all the components. So all I just have to do is just take it apart and redo it, right? I tested it out and I decided not to take it apart because the fucking thing performed. And you've probably seen it. Uh, if, you've, if you've seen my Instagram, you've probably seen it. And I call it the blow me box because it doesn't have, it doesn't have a brand. So I call it the blow me box. Uh, just a plain Jane box. It's one of the larger ones. Uh, boxes and also this one didn't have any vent holes so I drilled the shit out of it put some vent holes on it and uh, it has the magnet you know a lot of space in it um, 
there's a parallel. It's kind of not too clean on the inside, but it, it, it has nice thick copper wires. It has a nice squishy button. It has a good strong 510. The magnets on the doors are okay. Uh, but the thing is a good performing box for under 30 bucks. So, you know, out of all the parallels that I have, they've been more expensive. This one performs better. So, you know, not everything that's cheap is shit. You know, sometimes you get lucky and, and, and you get a good performing thing. And again, again, this is the, the issue I have with this one is the finishing on the wiring and, 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 uh, the vent holes and, and the magnets are not as strong. But other than that, the fucking thing performs, and and I fucking love this box. And it's my you know twenty six or twenty nine dollars box, and and you know I fucking love it. So what I'm saying is that just because you spend under a hundred bucks, it doesn't mean it's a shitty box. You know this one is under a hundred, and you can probably get it under fifty, and it's a good performing box. You know it it it, it delivers. Um, and also this is a nice looking one. I like the fucking skull and shit. Like, it's a nice looking box and small and, you know, fucking nice fucking box for, you know, under 50 bucks. So, um, if, if you want to jump into getting a better finish, better quality, uh, mint range price, uh, this is a good box, you know, from this company. They have them again on series and parallel. Um, and, and, and again, the, the finishing on the inside is pretty clean. It, it's not, it's clean. Um, you know, the only thing is missing is the vent holes. It doesn't have any vent holes that I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm probably going to drill some shit into it. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but you know, I need the vent holes and, and it, put a fucking ribbon on it too. Uh, so you don't have to be you know, messing with the battery, sticking your fingers in there. And another thing here, you see how the 510 is large. And, and the box is small, so they, they actually had to take out a little, you know, they had to reduce that thing there. So the 510 will, you know, that, that's attention to detail. So that, I like that. So it will fit there good and flush. So, you know, it's a nice, you know, finished box and, and performs good. Um, so, yeah, this is the review on this one. And... Uh, And I'm gonna bring your view on the Blow Me Box. Yeah, I'm gonna bring your review on the Blow Me Box. Uh, tell you where I got it from. This one I got it from my local vape shop. So, you know, but I've seen them online. Um, and I'll bring your review on the other one to tell you, you know, you can look at it a little bit better and explain to you where I got it from and everything. So, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions on this series box from Omega, let me know. You know, I'll, I'll try to help you out whatever I can. And um, you need a demonstration on this shit. Yeah, I'll give you a demonstration on this shit. Well, thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.